surveillance footage obtained exclusively by CNN appears to corroborate some of the allegations of abuse against music mogul Sean Diddy Combs. The video captured on multiple cameras shows Combs wearing only a towel, assaulting his then girlfriend, Cassie Ventura, in a hallway at a Los Angeles hotel in March 2016. It all started with Cassie Ventura when she filed a lawsuit against him for assaults and abuse. Things got interesting because Combs's ex, her name was Cassandra, she went by Cassie, and she filed a federal lawsuit against him in New York alleging years of assaults. Now again, they dated for like more than 10 years, so she obviously was very close to him and knew his lifestyle. Her lawsuit contained graphic allegations that he raped her in 2018, that he physically abused her, that he intimidated her, that he made her have sex with male escorts while he watched, the lawsuit also alleged that he blew up another artist's car, his name was Kid Cudi, in order to stop him from seeing Cassie rom romantically when him and Cassie split up. I mean, again, all of this sounds insane, if it's true. Well, Kid Cudi thought the accusations were true. He said, yes, that is factually what happened. But of course, Diddy denied those allegations. And he instead came out and said that Cassie was simply trying to blackmail him for $30 million. And by the way, that is plausible, right? We've seen tons of those instances, especially in the era of Me Too. What did you know back then, three, that four Cassie years was ago? was gonna come forward. So what What did you, how'd you know, what did you know about what Cat? Because to, to hear I the- I could explain. Yeah. But, um, but if I explain how I knew Cassie was gonna come forward, that could hurt some people. I don't spend time around Cassie and I haven't seen Cassie in person since she was with Ryan Leslie. Was there something in her eyes that you saw the way, like now I'm gonna that- I'm going to put it to you this way. There are mutual acquaintances between her and I. Mm. And that's as far as I can go. Okay. Do you think she was the only one getting banged by him? Do you think this man had this woman search for prostitutes online just for them to have sex with her? It's something fishy about that, bro. Because you got to realize this lawsuit and the information they had and they gave the Diddy people was six months ago. So some of that stuff was cut out. We're gonna give you this, but you gotta cut this part out. Let's just say, allegedly, just for the sake of it, Cassie wasn't the only one who wanted, or she didn't want it, but Cassie who searched for the Big Black, and she was searching for the Big Black, not only for herself, but for somebody else who we all know that was in the room with her. So. If he want to see it and he want her to suck, touch it, he might, that other person in the room with her just might want to feel it, allegedly. She said it's a freak off session. If she says a freak off session, brother, she ain't the only one freaking off. The prostitute ain't the only one freaking off. Old boy is freaking off also. I think that, and, and me just being a trained investigator and reading through the lines of certain things. And one time I had read something that Cassie couldn't take it no more. She told her friend, and this was she she was under a non-disclosure and everything like that. She told her friend she couldn't take it no more because she had seen this dude do something. I've heard plenty of stories about him being on a, that same yacht that Kim was on and the same yacht she got her nose broken on that somebody was doing something when she, to him when they walked in the room and it caused a confrontation. This is what somebody who was on the yacht said to me. My whole thing about it was this. Anything in that lawsuit, you got to realize that we only got a portion of it because it's been chopped up. Things has been taken out. So somebody would look a certain way. Cassie may have seen some stuff that she ain't really want to look at. He didn't want her to know who they were. So if she ever wanted to do what she just did, how does she say who how the person look? All she could describe is they, if they was wearing masks, unless she saw them before they put the mask on. All these stories has been around the industry for a long time. All these industry people know that Diddy been acting like this and doing this and try to engage other men into sexual acts with him. There was a story that he was trying to get Chris Brown, those young boys that he had, a group B5 or something like that, trying to get them. Yo, it's a lot of stories that goes around in this industry about not just him, other people. 
Jimmy Iovine. Ain't nobody talking about Jimmy Iovine. He got sexual charges and everything on him, but he got those publicists that's keeping it out off of CNN, is keeping it off the major news uh, uh, reports. Rodney Jones, also known as the Rod, even filed a 73-page lawsuit against Diddy. This person, however, his name is Rodney Jones. He lived, traveled, and he worked with Diddy as a producer, and he is alleging that he has hours upon hours of recorded footage and pictorial evidence, which has been included in this document, to support his claims. And I have to say, these claims seem very credible. Now, to be clear, Rodney, also goes by Lil Rod, uh, is suing Diddy and others, we're gonna get to who those others are, for $30 million, claiming that he was subjected to sexual misconduct for the duration of the production process of an album. It is a 70-page lawsuit that has been filed in the Southern District of New York, and he is claiming that while working on the album and living with Combs in New York, California, Florida, other locations, that Diddy repeatedly groped him, touching his, I'm sorry to say this guys, his anus and his crotch without consent and attempting to groom him into accepting a homosexual relationship by showing him explicit videos of others in Hollywood. Yes, they have named other artists claiming that homosexuality was a normal practice in the music industry. He's also claiming that Diddy would walk around the house naked and force him to watch him shower. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Um, until further notice, I would not be performing at any gigs or anything like that. Um, for security reasons, my family, friends, and everyone close to me just feels like there's a lot of potential threats, and everybody's just telling me what he's allegedly capable of. And, you know, it's very scary um, for myself, and, you know, it has me worried about my kids and, you know, just sleeping with anxiety and, and different things like that. So just moving forward, um, just wanna pause on everything until we know that it's, it's, it's clear and safe for me to come back outside of work. I appreciate um, you all for your love and support and everybody that knows me, et cetera. Thank you so much, love. I mean, Diddy was dating Steve Harvey's daughter, Lori Harvey. That's weird, no? Almost a 30-year age difference. Nick Cannon thinks it was pretty weird as well and he'd thrown hands if that was his daughter. Um, you know, I remember when they had the, that R. Kelly, Gail King interview. Right. Where she asked, you know, do you want to date women close to your own age? And he said, I don't look at age, I look at legal. <laughs> I'm a grown man who loves all women. <laughs> I love all the women. <laughs> like, I just, I mean, we all can see, like, R. Kelly definitely needs a better publicist. Like, that just, like, he's, <laughs> he should never, I don't know whose idea it was to put him in, you know, in an hour-long interview, just raw and uncut, but I think what he was trying to say, obviously, is that as long as women are legal, then he sees it as free game, which, mm -hmm. to me, I think is a horrible thing as well, because there's, in what, 40 something states, 16 is legal? I got a daughter. If I see my 16 year old daughter with any grown ass man, we got problems. I'm, I'm willing and ready to go sit down and do 25 if there's a grown ass man talking to my 16 year old. But that's, that's legal in so many places. Well, you see uh, Puffy supposedly dating Lori Harvey. Yeah. And what's that age difference? That's like that's like twenty something years, but at least uh, she's let's she thing buff. <laughs> Lori Harvey. She's what twenty three. Let's look it up. Let's look this. And up. he's almost he's forty nine. Twenty two. Twenty two and forty nine. Diddy is forty nine years old. Oh man, that is a twenty seven year difference. Do you have a problem with that? Hmm, that's an interesting question. We all know how Invested Jaguar Wright is in the whole case, so you know, he definitely had something to say this time as well. The first woman to uncover the homo thugs. She talking about Diddy. That's what these down low b was called when Wendy first started talking about it in the 90s, the homo thug. So you hear about stories of Diddy like shooting people, yeah. blowing up cars. Yeah. Is he this gangster that behind the scenes that every, is that him? 
Or is that people Shout around? out to Wendy Williams. She just, I'm sure somebody's already asked you this, but have you ever been to a P. Diddy party? Yeah, several. Many. Honestly. And so can you take us through, like, what goes on, like, when you were there? What did I say when y'all asked me about the why was the T.D. Jakes at the Diddy party? Yeah. What'd I say? Money. Money. And sex. That's correct. Were you surprised that there were so many cameras in his houses? No! That he was recording these... Of course, he is the J. Edgar Hoover of hip-hop. Mm. Okay. Y'all done seen him put on the pyramid with a skirt? <laughs> so let me ask you, when you hear that Cassie was told to hire male escorts to come in the, what they call freak-offs now, yeah. um, that is something, is that something normal that yeah. happens in Hollywood? Yeah! Freak-offs. Yeah! Okay, okay. Um, Everybody know that? I've been saying it. Yeah. Now back to the raid on Diddy's house. The footage looked pretty severe to us and shows the measures the authorities would take to find incriminating evidence. Both of his sons, Justin and Christian, aka King, were even handcuffed during the surprise attack. Three states working in tandem and they did not tell the officers who they were raiding. They went in tactical as they were instructed to. They didn't know they was raiding Diddy's house. The higher ups didn't tell anybody because they knew with Diddy being a, a fed informant that he had people in the force and they wanted to make sure that went through legit. So they ain't tell nobody whose houses they was going to. That's why you see the guns. The, the cops didn't know that it was Diddy's house over there in Beverly Hills around the corner from uh, uh, the Playboy Mansion. They didn't know until they seen the kids. To the raid real quick with Diddy. Mm -hmm. um, his sons were there and he was not there at the houses. Um, yeah. And he was, was quiet. That was the worst part of that. Uh, to see his sons being How hacked. How do you force your kids to do your perp walk? That was, the, that was the worst part. And all I could think about was Kim and Misa. Mm. The girls. Just her son. He, he left their son to be walked out backwards on camera for the world to see. We've seen B. Diddy weird around children multiple times, and we've got just the footage to prove it. My name's Ava. I'm a Scorpio. No, no, no. What's your last name? Oh, Ava Combs. What's your no. other last name? Ava Baroni. Ava Baroni Combs? Yes, it's, it's breaking news. Diddy adopted a white child. <laughs> I, want you, I want you to tell them the story about how I adopted you. We, but you still have beautiful parents that, but you're my child also. But please, please tell the story. So, I was <laughs> on the streets. <laughs> And then Papa Combs decided to, that he would like to be a caring man. So then he saw me and decided to pick me up and said to come inside and play with his kids. Adopted kids and everybody else adopted kids. Charlize Theron, everybody's ever adopted Sandra Bullock. I adopted you because I felt that you could, you know, um, enjoy also having a black parent to take care of you and help you out. So um, um, just clarify because it's, it's crazy out here online. So, so I, I played with the kids and I got permission from your mother. Say all of that. Just make it it's crazy out here. Um, well, I met Jesse and Delilah when I was six months old. Six months. Yeah. And six then months. we basically are sisters. All four sisters. of us. So. And six then months is crazy. I always come over. Yes. And, and it's Ava mm -hmm. Brioni Combs. Come on. Usher. They talk about his. Usher, I'm tired of Usher. Oh. Goofy bitch. Oh. Got your ass. 
asshole ripped open and the only thing it inspired was loyalty? They ripped your ass open. Gene didn't say it. He said, check the records at the hospital. I'm saying it. You got your ripped open. Then you take Justin Bieber from Lily White, Canada, and take him to the flavor of fuck off, the kitty edition, get his ripped open. Now everything's coming out, and the first thing you do is run the Bali with another kitty right who works with the man, L.A. Reed, that sent you to the Diddy flavor freak off. Not the flavor. <laughs> now you got Justin Bieber breaking up relationships and shit. Suck Odell Beckham dick at the club, and the next thing you know, he don't even want Kim no more. Drop your thoughts down below.